the dragon. Right? That's what they're, I heard. The, the dragon now with a fanta- fiery performance. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you finished your guy. Not something everybody has done in this career because Adrian, just like you, is tough as nails. Little feather in your cap. How does that feel? How, are you good with that performance? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. You know, uh, just got to go. I, I feel like I just keep, I got to keep getting better and better. But, you know, I'm, you know, the game plan worked good. You know, he's a really good boxer. We just had to take his legs out. But, yeah. Once we saw this on paper, um, you know, the, the main event is solid. We have a lot of big names on this card. Another fantastic fight night. There was still that buzz of like, oh, man, these are some technical strikers. These guys have grown leaps and bounds from contender series. How excited were you where you got that name and that tonight could definitely be fireworks with you and Adrian? When I got that name, I honestly, I wasn't even excited because, you know, I met him in the National Fight Week, so we were eating brownies together. You know, we were sending pictures of my, I was showing pictures of my family. He was showing me his. And, you know, three weeks later, his, his name came up, and I was like, oh, man, I was like, I guess we're fighting each other, you know. So we cut weight together, you know, we were cutting weight together. And, you know, we were fine, we were shaking the hand, everything and stuff. And, but I know we, he had a job to do and I had a job to do. Absolutely. And I know it might sound a little weird to people who don't do this for a living, but you guys just really bonded right now over 10 some odd minutes when you just beat up each other. Yeah, yeah, man. I just, I just felt really bad. I kept looking at the ref like, hey, just stop it already. Because like, I think he screamed twice or three times and I was like, ah, you know, he just, but I just felt bad. There's a, a, a point where you see him collapse and you're just like, okay, yeah, that was my next question. Should it have been stopped any sooner, do you think, you know, in your professional opinion, or you go until the ref pulls you off of him? Um, I think they should have, but, you know, I just got to keep going, I guess, until the ref pulls me off and stuff. Absolutely. This is a big win, big finish. But besides getting that, you know, that I'd highlight reel, how fun was it or how, how much pride did it give you to walk out with your two flags tonight? and be able, now that we got flags back in the octagon. Oh, I feel really good, you know, I feel real comfortable and I have my friends and my girls there and stuff, so I feel, I feel real comfortable going in there, you know, and in the back, we're just warming up and then, you know, I feel really good. Awesome, man, and um, for this fight week, I saw you actually for Contender Series. It looks like you've been, did you spend more time in Vegas? I, I recognize the, that heart shape on your, yeah. your, your cut. Are you spending more time in Vegas using the PI? Like, what's going on? <clears throat> I was just um, one of my teammates, Markel, just got signed to the UFC. So, you know, I want to go watch him, and you know, he's one of the guys I've been working with too. You know, and I had to go watch him do work, and you know, he did. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, finalmente, en español, un mensaje para tus fans. Te, te miraron triunfar, pudiste ganar, traíste tus colores, ahí estuvieron tus banderas. ¿Cómo se sintió tu triunfo, Jonathan? Oh, me, me sentí muy bien, nomás porque El lado de mi mamá y mi papá, los mexicanos y salvadoreños, que siempre tengo el apoyo de los dos, que siempre están contentos que ando representando México y Salvador. Y pues me siento bien, orgulloso. Esta mañana pues platiqué con mi mamá y mi papá y me dijeron, échale ganas, mijo. Cada vez que platico con ellos me da ganas de llorar porque voy a pelear y ellos me van mirándome en la tele. Y, pero sí, me siento bien contento de representar a los dos banderas. Muy bien, bien. felicidades. Y yo sé que están súper contentos de tu triunfo. Gracias. Hey, Jonathan, uh, how did it feel to end, I guess, or kind of round out the uh, Factory X going 3-0 this, uh, this week in Vegas? No, it feels real good, man. I'm just, it's just all that hard work we do at Factory X. You know, we train super hard, you know, like, I just, we just do, you know, and then we have all these guys coming to fight. Brandon's about to get that belt, and, you know, it's just, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I noticed, you know, when you dropped him um, a few t- I think it was the, the first or second time you dropped him with, with leg kicks, you started punching his knee. Um, yeah. I guess just what what came, I guess what was the thought process with that? Was it just kind of just to inflict more damage or? I was, but I started kind of, you know, back in the day, I used to fight in the streets a lot. So I was just like, oh. I just, just click, I just wanted to hit with <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, makes sense. Um, and I also want to know, like, I think was the reason, like, Usually during your your uh, face off stare down, you get right in right in your opponent's face. Yeah. Was it that that you were friendly with Adrian while you didn't go face to face with him? Yeah, that's I just uh, just you know I just showed him respect and stuff, and you know just all week, you know, like I said, we were, we were cutting weight together. You know, they went in there, we're gonna have problems. Like no, you know, weight cut. You know, they're all hard. You know, I don't care. He could be laying down, he could be laying down on the floor. You know, I don't really care. We're still gonna fight tomorrow. You know, no matter what. With the UFC going back to Mexico next week, uh, next year, are you trying to get on that card? Yeah, I would like to get on the Mexican card. Um, and finally, um, you know, 
uh, you and Chris, I think, have the best two leg kicks uh, in the UFC right now. So the question is, is who throws harder leg kicks? Uh, Chris does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm just curious if it's easier for you to fight someone that you don't like or someone you don't know than a friend. Because, I mean, obviously it would probably be easier, but do you prefer to fight somebody you don't like? Mm, no, not really. I feel like everybody I fight, I feel like it's just, we have a job to do. You know, I know everybody has a family, so I'm just going in there doing my job. And I don't, if they talk stuff, whatever, I just, I don't really care. You know, I just go in there, you know, win and then get out. And I got to ask, I noticed the cowboy hat. Did you get a chance to go see Dana White's bull yesterday? No, I didn't. I was, no, I didn't, but yeah, that would have been cool. <laughs> Thanks. All good? All right.